Hello there friends and welcome to a day in my life in Google's EU headquarters, Dublin, Ireland. It's time for me to wake up and get ready to start the day by brushing my teeth, having a shower, and of course, getting changed into some Google merchandise. Gotta be on brand, innit? I then put on some aftershave and deodorant, so I'm looking and smelling fresh. I leave the place I'm staying and start by walking along Barrow Street, which is where many of the different Google Dublin offices are based. I then head in and tap my badge to verify that I'm here, and then head up straight to the cafe to grab myself a fancy breakfast. With such an awesome selection of hot and cold breakfast items, I'm honestly spoiled for choice and it would be so easy to have English breakfast every single day, but honestly, the carbs would just be too much. <laughs> I then have a quick sit down breakfast chat with my friend Davide, who's actually leaving Google to set up and run his own company full time, which is pretty exciting. I then head upstairs to my work desk to get cracking on through the email backlog and start to plan out my week. I often head into the office early in the mornings and get cracking on with some work before most people arrive. It's kind of like a little focus zone that I have set up for myself. After this, I then meet up with Leisha, who takes me on a mammoth tour of the Dublin office, including the epic views from the eighth floor looking all across Dublin city centre. We stop by to have a quick look in some of the fridges just to see how it compares to the London office. Check out the pop-up banner for a link to that video if you haven't seen it already. And we then head upstairs and find an even more premium micro kitchen, which is specifically for one team in the Dublin office. And if you're watching and you've ever worked in that office, you'll know what team it is. <laughs> Uh, so we then walk past the Google branded pool table, of course, some really cool meeting pods, an awesome event space, some even more incredible views across Dublin and all the way down to the train system that runs through the centre. We then continue the tour with the lovely tour guide Leisha and we head up to this really cool kind of like chill out space with some really lovely views of the dock area where the office is based. We then walk past the very famous Dublin Google sign that's inside the office into a lovely cute outdoor area with some swings which of course I give a quick test drive. We then head up past some really kind of architecturally cool sofa areas up to this really cool library space, which is definitely one of my favorite spaces in the Google Dublin office, mostly because it's kind of like tucked away from everyone else and a little bit more chilled out. So I definitely want to come back and do some work here later for sure. Oh, and it's also right next to where the snack bridges are, which is super handy. <laughs> We then have a quick look in the kind of wellness meditation space and of course we find the Dublin nut pods. You might remember these from the London office if you watched that video. Well guess what, <laughs> they're in Dublin too. Leisha then takes me up past the table tennis table into this mad music room where people can literally just come into the office for a jamming session in the middle of the day. Mad. And have a few of these. One day I could, one day I could, uh, I used to be able to play the keyboard. After that brief musical interlude, I then grab myself a hot drink and then it's back to some focused work sessions and meetings for me, including some really exciting new product trainings as my YouTube role just became a little bit more broad. So lots and lots of new stuff for me to learn, which is always good because every day is a learning day, right? I then quickly check through my Google work phone just to see if there's any new chat messages and it's then time for lunch. And with the office lunches, you always seem to end up with a medley of different food options, or at least I do. Like for example, today I had a salad with beef bourguignon and tomato and basil soup on the side. Pretty interesting combo, huh? But you know what? It works. <laughs> I then sit down with Leisha and some other different Google pals of ours for lunch. 
and Google is pretty keen right now to get people back into the office permanently as even though we've been working remotely for the last two years completely Google's starting to get people back into the office for three days a week as part of like a hybrid setup pretty much from around now so we're just basically discussing that whilst eating and just going through our different thoughts and feelings around what the new setup is going to be like I then quickly grab a drink and some jelly beans, why not? <laughs> to then quickly jump back into a client meeting with an exciting UK fintech startup who are looking to grow on YouTube but aren't sure where to start. And that's where I come in. After this meeting, I wanna get some focused work done for the day. So grab another drink and walk through this super vibey, colorful section that connects the three main office buildings together and head up past the Google sign again up to that cool library space that I found earlier. Here, I'm planning and building a pitch deck for a client of mine who's looking at working with some different creators for their next big launch campaign. So I'm researching different YouTube creators that would be the best fit for them and what they're trying to accomplish with that campaign. I'm also helping a friend of mine get a job at Google. So here I'm looking through his CV and finding some awesome roles that fit the kind of thing that he's looking for. So if you're watching this and thinking of applying to Google yourself, then drop me a DM on Twitter and I'll try and help you if I can. It's then time to end the workday and I then head out onto the very cold and pretty windy Barrow Street to meet up with my good friend Isabel, who moved to Dublin with her boyfriend a few years back. We then head to the pub and grab a Guinness or three. When in Dublin, of course. We then grab some food, have some awesome conversation, and after about two or three hours, we then head out for the evening and go our separate ways. I walk back to the hotel that I'm staying at and watch a few TikToks and make myself a perfect cup of tea. Oh. <laughs> I just dropped the bag in the cup. Oh, crap. The, uh, the label just came off the tea bag. So we're doing well. We're doing well tonight. Okay. Beautiful. Look at the color. Look at the color of this tea. That is a perfect colored tea. <laughs> no question. Uh, this is the perfect color. Uh, so yeah. All right. I'm going to finish my cup of tea and then head to bed. If you've enjoyed this day in the life video, then definitely check out this playlist here where I will put more of all of the different day in the life videos that I've filmed on the channel. So check out those if you've not already. Otherwise, have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye bye.